welcome to our first video on digestive system in this video we're going to be looking at the system that is in charge of digestion in living organisms now what is digestion digestion is the process of breaking down complex food materials into its simpler form for absorption what does it mean it means that the food we eat is a complex material if not broken down it cannot be absorbed by the body now the part that runs from the mouth to the anus is called the alimentary canal the digestive or you call it the digestive tract to remember all the parts involved i will use the word imposira m stands for mouth p stands for pharynx o stands for cephagus s stands for stomach i stands for intestine r stands for rectum and a stands for anus simple this is how the track runs from the mouth to the anus. All right. Now, the first part, which is the mouth. In the mouth, we have, um, of course, everyone knows about the mouth. Um, the mouth, we have the teeth there. We have the palate, which is the upper roof of the mouth, which is called hard palate. Down roof of the mouth is called the soft palate. Also, the pharynx. Remember, the pharynx is different from the larynx. Larynx is voice box. Pharynx is also a part of alimentary canal. That is the part that food is allowed to pass. When food passes through the trachea, it causes a coughing sensation experience. That is why it is advised for people that eat food, they should not talk or make noise. So, the right part should be the pharynx and not the trachea now the stomach of course the stomach have a, um, a gland that is embedded there known as gastric mucosa which secretes um hcl hydrochloric acid pepsinogen when pepsinogen comes in contact with hydrochloric acid it changes to pepsin pepsin converts protein to peptones this is why we say that the digestion of of uh, protein starts from the stomach also another part we have is the small intestine all these are sites for digestion but it is worthy of note that digestion does not take place in the oesophagus because there is no enzyme produced in the oesophagus. All right. Another part we have is the large intestine. Another name for the large intestine is the colon. We have the ascending colon and the descending colon. Large intestine, the food that moves there, determines the type of um, physis someone is to defecate. What does this mean? Someone can have constipation or have diarrhea depending on the speed or the rate at which food moves in the large intestine. If you move too slow, the person has constipation because water will be reabsorbed. If you move too fast, less water will be reabsorbed and the person will have diarrhea. Another part we have there is rectum. Rectum is where the heart um, physics will defecate is stored temporarily. Um, why the anus, which is the last part, is the extremity, the um, exterior, where we pass out the feces, um, where we, uh, where we, uh, we not use the word excretion because feces is not an excretory waste product. Remember, feces is not an excretory waste product. All right. Um, types of digestion, of course, um, digestion have types. Although it differs uh, from organism to organism, different organisms have different um, type of digestion. Now, types of digestion we have, we have intracellular digestion. This is by endocytosis, just as we are seeing in this video. All right, um, a cell engulfs food into the cell membrane, into the cell. Why the cells um, secrete enzyme to um, digest the food? That is what we call intracellular. It is found in protozoans um mainly unicellular organisms why the second type of digestion we have is called extracellular digestion in this type of this is a type of digestion that occurs in man man um um exhibits extracellular digestion which are, which starts with ingestion of food all right and the food that is being ingested runs through a tract which we call the alimentary canal starting from the mouth when it was ingested down to the anus all right um Types of alimentary canal, like I said, the part that runs from the mouth to the anus, uh, depending on the organism, is called alimentary canal. Now, different organisms evolve different alimentary canal. Example, we have in um, cockroach, we have in planaria, which is flatworms, all right? We have alimentary canals of earthworm, which is more complex than that of um, planaria. Of course, that of planaria is made up of MPS. M stands for mouth, P stands for pharynx, 
test and the SDS stands for small intestine. Why alimentary canal of Eton? This one is more diverse and more complex. We can see the um, oesophagus, mouth, gizzard, crop, intestine. Of course, there will be a similarity between this and that of grasshopper. Of course, both of them have crop. All right, but in that of um, grasshopper here, we're not seeing the gizzard. Um, crop is a part where food is stored temporarily before it is grounded. In, in smaller organisms like these organisms are seen as grasshopper and um, 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 cockroach, etc. Even domestic fowl. Now, in domestic fowl, we have um, the gizzard, the intestine, the oesophagus, the mouth, the crop. Crop is where food is stored temporarily before it is grounded. Why gizzard is a part where the food is grounded? Remember, um, bears, they don't have teeth because they have beak. Their mouth is covered by beak. But what serves as teeth for them is the sand they pick up when they feed. Sands and stone they pick up when they feed serve as teeth, which helps them to grind food in the gizzard. Of course, lastly, we are going to be looking at the um, digestive system of man, digestive system of man, which has, is more complex than many other organisms. Where we have tongue, epiglottis, we have a lot of things. We will continue explaining from our next video that is coming up on digestive system. Um, before then, it is worthy of note that human digestive system is very very complex. We have a lot of things and activities that go on there. See you in the 